skirts of town. I'm on my way to that hotel, spend the weekend with another old friend, Homer is Said so that Greek book? So soon? Yeah, I figured I'd catch up with Murdoch for breakfast. How's Ben? Like he says. Tell me what went on. It's a long story. Well, I got time. It's about a man, a shadow from his past. Shadow that's open. But you know pretty girls and gunfighters don't mix. But you don't look very dangerous. I am. If your father had any sense, he'd send you back to boarding school. No, he can't. I'll see if I can do it for you. We'll just plain talk about it. I can't see. And you can't talk. Honey, Silas, I'm all ready to breed uh, Cinder with my mare if you want. You want to come along, Uncle Ab? Well, not today, Silas. Well, you better come because if uh, you didn't like the mare I picked out, we'll pick out another. Okay, Johnny. Silas. Sheriff? Yeah? Evening. You know a man by the name of uh, Marvin? Dan Marvin. Oh, sure, stranger. Everybody knows Dan Marvin. Well, we Hi, Murda. Hi. Well, you sure are a mess. Yeah. Did you get the boat? No, the boat had been sold before I got there. Come here, kids. Oh, boy, where do you see what I got, Murda? Let's see it. This is a Winchester. Tie me up and break my arms? What do you think you're doing out here, huh? Sneaking up on a man's camp at night? What's the matter with you? Just watching. Does your mom know you're out here? Not exactly. Well, come on over. What do you keep looking at me for? You saw what happened. He drew on me. What'd you expect me to do? What's the matter? Isn't that good enough? Any more coffee left? Johnny. Well, this must be Scotty's half-brother, Johnny Madrid. Well, it's not Madrid anymore, sir. It's Lancer. Uh, forgive me, of course. Scott's talked my ear off about you. And... Where are you going, Julie? Back home. Somehow I never got around to asking you where that was. Sorry, I was busy upstairs. Where's Johnny? Right back here. I found Murdoch's horse at the livery stable. You sure it's his? I'm sure I saw the brand. He must be here. He'd never leave town without that horse. And you swore he was gone. No. No? What do you mean, no? Are you going to turn down your brother? Yes, I'm going to turn you down. Let him use his own clothes. Ah, oh, come on, Scott. The rags. Yeah, so are these now. Look, I told you it wasn't his fault. Well, whose fault was it? Well, Mary Hicks' store got robbed, and he was playing around in the dirt. Sleep well? I always sleep well. Well, now, will you look at this? Yeah, they're all over the place. What? This this $20 gold piece. Found one in my room, too. 
It's like guest money, you know. It saves you asking for a loan. Nice custom. Teaches you something. Teaches you never pass up a $20 gold piece. Help yourself, it's yours. Well, thank you. A third of it anyway. 